In today's video, we continue our previous work with Vivado. We are going to use Vitus to program our software into microblasts. We will use this program to control the LEDs, push buttons, and switches. Click File, New Component, choose Platform. Click Next. To click Browse to select our XSA file generated by Vivado. Click Next. Click Next. Then Finish. Then we need to build our platform first. Then click File, New Component, choose from Example. We can choose Hello World as our template. We can change the name. Select our platform, then click Next, click Next, and Finish. Then in the sources here, we can select the Hello World C file. We can delete all the content and rename it. And we can copy our code in my website. I will put a link of this code in the video description below. So let's take a look at our C code. First, we need to look up the best address for each AXI GPIO for the switches, buttons, and LEDs. Do you remember we created three AXI GPIOs in Vivado? Each of these has a unique best address, which can be found here. When we export our hardware, this information is also written in X parameters. As you can see, the best addresses for each GPIO are the same as what we just saw in Vivado. So we can copy the best address to our code. Then, we need to declare a GPIO configuration pointer and three GPIO drivers. And this will be used to store the data for reading from and writing to our GPIO. After initializing our platform, we can print a simple message here. Before using the GPIO drivers, we need to configure them first. We look up their configuration using XGPL lookout configure and store the configuration in this pointer. Then we use XGPL configure initialization to configure the corris corresponding GPIO drivers. Next, we need to define the directions and masks of our drivers one for a single channel and two for dual channels. Depending on the bit width of our components, we use masks to define the valid data bits. Then, we create an infinite while loop to continuously sample data from our GPL drivers. We use XGPL discrete read to read data from the GPL drivers. In this loop, we continuously read data from switches and push buttons. We implement a simple logic to detect if any buttons are being pressed. We will assign the switch data to the LED data by using the XGPL discrete write. This means that the 16 LEDs will light up according to which switches are turned on, and they will light up only when a, at least one button is pressed. Next, we need to build this application. Connect your basis 3 board to your computer and switch the power on. Then, we need to check our connection port. You can search for device manager and find the USB port you are using. The connection name will be COM6. Next, use a software called PUTTY, which you can download for free by Google it. Select Serial, enter the connection name, COM6, and click Open. This will bring up our display window, then click Run Inviters. As you can see, when we press the button, 
the LEDs light up according to the switches. Our first project is now complete. Please look forward to the next project. Thank you.